Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Google Calendar button inside Elementor Pro. Now, adding a Google Calendar button to your website is going to make it real easy for your users to add special events to their own calendar. The great news is this is very easy to set up inside Elementor Pro, and you can actually use this on tons of different Elementor widgets. In this example, I'm going to show you how to add this type of functionality to a normal Elementor button like this. So when the user would click this button right here, add to your calendar, it's automatically going to sync that information from that web page over into a new Google event. And then when they click save, it's going to add to their calendar. So let's just jump right into the back end and show you how easy it is to set up. Here we are on the back end of an Elementor page. And as you can see right here, I'm going to select the button widget. So this is just using the normal Elementor button widget. And normally you would just add your link right here. Um, but in this case, we want to have it where it's going to take this information, so like the title, the location, the date, everything, and then sync it to Google Calendar. So what's really good about Elementor Pro, they have this feature underneath the dynamic tags. So you're going to want to click this. And if you go under Actions, there's this button right here called Contact URL. So once you click that, you're going to need to click it again or click the um, wrench icon. And what's nice about this um, feature is you're not just limited to a Google Calendar. You can do different calendars down here. They also have like WhatsApp. You can do telephone, Skype. But in this tutorial, let's just cover the Google Calendar. So all you need to do is just click that. And then now I'm just going to input the information right here. Once you add the title and description, you can go underneath and click location. And in this case, I'm just going to enter in the static uh, address right here. And then underneath start and end, this is where they're going to give you the option to select the date. So in this case, I have it at May 14th. And then once you click the date, it's going to let you put in a time. So now you can do six. You could just hit six right here. It's going to pop up and say 6 p.m. Then you just need to click down here. Uh, same thing, you just go to end. Make sure you have an end date and time. So the 14th at 9. So it was just something like that. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So I just want to make sure we got Google Calendar, we have a title, description, the location, start and end. That's all you have to do. That's as all the settings you need to change in Elementor. Now let's go ahead and do some testing on the front end and make sure it actually can add to your calendar. Now here we are on the front end of the page. Let's go ahead, just click this button, add to your calendar. It's automatically going to open this up. So I got the title right here. This was the description. Here's the location, and right up here we have May 14th at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. May 14th. So you can even have it where it spans across multiple days. Now let's go ahead and just hit save, and now this is going to add it automatically to the Google Calendar that the user's logged into. So in this case, I'm logged in as a Google user, and if I scroll over into May, you're going to see that is added right here. So if we click that, it's going to show Mark's 40th birthday party. It's got the location right here, and then it's got the times. Everything looks good. And that's it. I told you how easy it was to set up. And like I said, you also have all these other options in here too. So maybe I'll make future videos on these ones. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.